basic concept associated with force. This is our fourth unit in grade 9. What is a force? You have learned this in grade 7 also. Uh, simply we can tell a force is a pull or a push. For an example, pushing a table, uh, pushing a car, like that, pushing something uh, and pulling, pulling a window, pulling a drawer, like that. Okay. Then what else we can do by applying a force? Here you can see. What else we can do by giving a force? Object at rest can be moved. Object in motion can be stopped. Speed of motion can be changed. For an example, we can increase increase the speed or we can decrease the speed by applying a force. Direction of motion can be changed. Direction. Okay. And the last one, shape of object can be changed. For an example, think uh, there is a lump of clay. Uh, you can change its shape by applying a force. Right. Then the magnitude of force. Force has a size. It means we can measure it. It means there is a quantity. What is the SI unit of force? Yes, it is Newton. So the SI unit of measuring force is Newton. Then what, uh, what is the instrument we can use to measure force? In our laboratory, uh, we can uh, have a spring balance or we can tell it as Newton balance. Right. I think all you have seen this uh, Newton balance or spring balance. Right. Then that is in our laboratory. In commercial, uh, commercially, they are having some balances. Uh, it is calibrated in, not in Newton, sometimes in grams or kilograms. Right. Then it is uh, commercial purposes. Uh, it is for commercial purposes. Right. Now uh, activity 4.1. You can see this one. This activity. Here you can see the activity. Now it is better girls. You can if you can take your textbooks and go through this uh, video with your textbook right okay here we are doing look at this one uh, we are measuring the weight of an object using a spring balance here this is the object it is in horizontal way and we are pulling it and uh, trying to find the force and this one the object is fixed here it is clamped you can see here uh, it is fixed object and there is a helical spring and uh, the Newton balance is attached to here and pull in to this side right I think all you clear that those are A this is A uh, B and C okay now uh, tell me uh, do you think all these if you measure these three forces are they same or different what is your answer yes here let's see ABC readings of three Newton balances uh, yes if they are different definitely they should be different yes. here a uh, a that is the weight of the object b b means uh, that is the force that you are applying to pull the object and c means that is the heli the helical spring force applied on the helical spring now this all three abc figures are different so however you can through this activity you can understand force has a magnitude okay then force has a direction too do you know about that yes 
Now for an example, think that you are opening a drawer. What is the direction at that moment? Direction is towards us. And if you are closing it, the direction is away from you. Right. Then look at this diagram. Here you can see a bottle. And from here these are two places that the forces are applied. Then here you can see if you pull or if you apply a force from this point, uh, the bottle is not falling. But if you apply force from this this uh, this point, sometimes the bottle may fall. Right. However, you can see there are two different places that force is applied here. The place where force is exerted is known as the point of application of force what is it the point of application of force right then the activity 4.2 uh, here it is in your page page number this activity i'm telling 4.2 right here you can see there are two wooden boxes here there is a uh, thread or something string it is and this is a center of the this face and uh, it is pulled into horizontal way to this direction and in simple b uh, here now we have changed the direction pulling direction to this way right i think all you clear that here now can you get the same result by pulling to this side and here to this side same result yes let's see wooden block moves in the direction of pull here in this time it should move to this direction but if you apply the force in this way it should go to this kind of direction right. when the direction is changed the moving direction of the block also changes it is clear for you i think and you can check this right so force has both magnitude and direction magnitude and direction so if anything having this kind of both characteristics or both component like magnitude and direction how do you call that kind of quantities they are vector quantities in signal it is called daishika rashi daishika rashi okay then let's see now if you want to represent a force in your textbooks how to do that that is called graphical representation of a force graphical representation of a force right so here uh, we are normally we are we have to show three characteristics if you are representing a force in your books okay the first one is magnitude direction and the point of application right so they are the three uh, components that you need to represent right here how to represent the uh, magnitude it is by the length it means magnitude showing the and we can show the magnitude by is the the from the line that you are drawing from length then direction by putting a arrow head, putting an arrow head then the point of application by dot at the started point of the line right now this is how we had to rep this is these are the th three characteristics uh, that you need to uh, use right now here look at here then uh, 10 newton acting on the object at the point p here this is a box x box here point p the force is acting uh, let's see how one by one how these uh, they are represented here you can see a line here line the line shows the magnitude it means our force is 10 newton but uh, how to draw this you have you have to convert it into uh, length therefore i have you have to select a proper scale for that can you see here i have uh, written the scale 
it means 1 cm means 5 newton so you have to draw here 2 centimeters only it is a must and it is it, the, your scale should be very clear and you have to write it here right then uh, this is 10 newtons and this is the this dot is the point of application and here you can see the arrow head so the force is acting to this direction magnitude is 10 newtons and this is the point where uh, force is applied next example write in the scale uh, yes uh, for the <coughs> writing the scale for the straight line is important here you have to scale writing the scale is very important right second one 20 newton acting on the object y at point q here you can see this is a y this is q is the q dot is the point of application and you can see the arrow head and here 10 newtons how to uh, how to represent it here i have drawn 4 centimeters sorry here it is a here should be yes okay here from 1 centimeter uh, for 1 centimeter 1 centimeter equals for 5 newtons right so therefore you had write the scale here and this is the magnitude that is that is 20 newtons and this is the arrowhead right so that is the way uh, you can represent a force in your textbook right then uh, here I have been through your, uh, this force unit and uh, yes I think uh, now you all can do the exercise let's see the summary first we learn uh, force that is pull or a push then what are the uh, things we can do by applying a force and here the instrument SI unit that way then uh, uh, representing graphical representing of force but characters you need to mention there right okay i hope to see you soon from the next unit right until then uh, goodbye and take care